that we call high school. Those two words mean a variety of different things to different people. For some, it's their high point, their social joys. For others, high school is frustrating, either academically or socially. High school for me was somewhat of a shocking, frustrating, delightful, even mind-opening experience. Granted, I was not prepared for the religious aptitude found in Christopher Dock, nor do I agree with much of what I encountered. But somehow, the past four years have done something that no religiously open education could have. It forced me to think for myself. My freshman year is something of a big memory. I can remember my first day of school and a few cross country practices leading up to it. They all contain the same scared, youngster cliches that I believe we hear far too often. Instead of focusing on my first moments within school, I choose to jump straight to the middle of the first quarter. Entering high school, I had everything planned, or so I thought. I wanted to fall so grades, not to school, conquer my migraines, squash my anxiety, be a great athlete, and graduate feeling accomplished. I was forced to reevaluate much of my plan shortly into the first quarter of high school. My migraines hit the way I've not encountered before. I found myself not missing school a day at a time, but a week at a time. Unable to get out of bed or do more than my basic homework. Freshman year suddenly became extremely stressful. My classwork was no longer on time, but a game of catch-up, which seemed to race ahead of me faster than I could ever accomplish it. Through the stress, I found solace in my favorite classes of that year. World Cultures 1 through 3, the classes I found myself truly at home in. Mr. Bush and Mr. Bauer were open to class discussion, and encouraged the classes to reconsider current thinking strategies and challenge each other as well as ourselves. I quickly learned I was not Kansas anymore, or to be more specific, but we're quite useful. Nothing could have prepared me here and discuss some of the viewpoints I encountered through not just World Cultures, but my latest research studies classes as well. The education philosophies I've been surrounded by prior to that were comprised mostly of liberal and rather open viewpoints. Even the model of my church, whoever you are or your own life's journey, you are welcome, was not discriminatory. In my eyes, everyone was going to heaven. God was forgiving. To hear my fellow classmates discuss the wrongs of other cultures and religions was a shock, but it was also a motivation to argue my side better, to build a better set of logic. It was through challenging others I found that I could truly challenge myself. For me, this set up the stage for how I viewed myself. I worked with my peers for the rest of high school. While I learned to work with and dispute with my peers within the classroom setting, I was still missing a level of teamwork and responsibility which I craved. I ran across country freshman year, sustaining an injury that prevented me from participating in athletics when I was two years. So when the track season rolled around, I felt rather inferior and frustrated. Coach either changed my attitude and assigned me to work as manager. A position which sounded easy, a lazy job with a lazy athlete. I was wrong. Managing gave me a purpose and something to throw my energy into, of which I had a lot. Having never been organized before, I took the upkeep of equipment and organization of sports during meets as a welcome challenge. Becoming consumed with the idea that something could always be improved, as a result, the box was clean, my box was really soft, and the author panicked about the law stop watching my coach was appearing to be relatively pleased. The responsibility the organization required for managing a track team taught me determination and diligence, which I could not have learned through any other experience, at least not to such an extent. For me, that injury was a benefit. My hard work paid off, allowing me to earn varsity letters. This was the first in doc history assigned for a manager. And it's something I was really proud of. A freshman year ended, I felt pleased with myself and happy with my social life. Having found friends who could be supported and fun with many of the risks, I was adamant about avoiding. For me, it was the best start of high school that I could have 